Hi, I'm John Flynn and this is Deep Stereo, learning to predict new views from the world's imagery. This is joint work between myself, Ivan Neulander, James Philbin and Noah Snavely. And all of this work was done while at Google. So, in this work we addressed the problem of view synthesis. Given a set of sparse input views of a scene like this, how do we synthesize a continuous set of new views? Like this. This sequence generated by our method has five times as many frames as the original sequence. View synthesis is an extremely challenging, under-constrained problem. It requires estimating correspondences, warping and blending pixels from multiple images and filling holes. And all of these sub-problems typically involve handcrafted methods with many carefully chosen parameters. With deep learning, we have a powerful method that can learn from the data. A key idea of our work is we aim to reconstruct the synthesized view directly from pixels in the adjacent views. This has the advantage of not requiring grind truth depth maps during training. Instead, all our method needs is a set of posed images. For instance, all of Street View. During training, we leave one image out and then train our network to reproduce the held out images from the others. Our second key idea is to jointly predict a distribution over depth and a set of corresponding hypothesis colors. The final color for each pixel is computed as a probability weighted sum of the hy hypothesis colors. This formulation can be optimized end to end with it within a deep learning framework. The input to our network is a plane sweep volume of the input images reprojected to the target camera at a variety of depths. Now at this point, the standard plane sweep stereo algorithm might use sum of square differences or normalized cross correlation to estimate the depth. Instead, we aim to learn the similarity function from lots of data. The network predicts both a depth distribution and set of color hypotheses for each pixel and thus consists of two towers. The selection tower learns to produce a selection probability for each pixel within each depth plane, while the color tower learns to combine and warp pixels across the input images. The outputs from both towers are multiplied and summed to produce the final image. And here we see a visualization of the construction of the final image as a per pixel weighted sum of the intermediate color layers. We value, validated our approach in the Kitty data set. For this experiment, we trained our network to compute held out frames from four surrounding input images. Now in our paper, we provide quantitative evaluation, but here we show some comparisons of images generated by our method with the corresponding grand truth images. As can be seen, apart from a slight loss of resolution and some blurring in places, particularly at the edges where parallax is largest, our result compares very well with the grand truth. Here we show another example. Again, our result is minor artifacts, but is virtually indistinguishable from the grand truth image. In this video, we compare deep stereo to traditional methods on the task of temporarily upsampling a video. Our method outperforms both optical flow and a traditional depth spotting method, producing a smoother sequence with fewer artifacts. Finally, we show results on a sequence from indoor street view. The model was trained on outdoor street view images, but as can be seen, generalizes well to indoor scenes. I think I'm the very last um, spotlight, so thank you all very much for staying, and please come see our poster at poster 24. Thank you.